Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with David. Now I definitely bring you guys some conventions, events, food, and travel, as well as film locations just like today. I have to come out here to Uptown Whittier to bring you guys along with me. This is so awesome. Steven Spielberg, one of his films is actually being filmed here. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go explore around Uptown Whittier. Let's go. Steven Spielberg, his film is actually going to be here in Uptown Whittier. Now they did change the shop back over here where the Salvation Army thrift store used to be and now it is a Monty's camera shop and these different type of facades where you get the old 1950s vehicles. Uh, from what I read on my Whittier that this was loosely based on his life over in Arizona but I'm not sure on that but this is so awesome that we actually get Steven Spielberg's film to be filmed right over here. Now, I was actually really excited back when they actually filmed here for Masters of the Universe. Now we get Steven Spielberg's film here. Oh, so much hustle and bustle right over here. Look at this on Centerville Street over in Bailey. There is so much happening here, guys. There's, oh man, we get some WV vehicles. There is a lot here, guys. Look at this, WB. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the first one to report here for my channel, but this is so awesome. Oh man, look at this. So much hustle and bustle. Oh, wow. You know, I was actually at home uh, getting ready to film and just, it was so, so great, like, wow. Look at it, we, got, we get the star wagons back over there. Everyone else is like over here on this side. We got the, all the trailers. This is so cool, guys. Oh, look at it. Hustle and bustle at Uptown Whittier, guys. Hustle and bustle. This is really awesome. Now, they have, look, it says catering right there. The star wagon, so you know there's going to be star wagon. I don't know if this is for sure, but I know Michelle Williams, uh, they said was going to be in the film. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty cool, guys. Now, right over here, right over here, I believe it's on Greenleaf, they're actually doing a certain scene, a scene for the cars that are going by. Okay. So they actually blocked off this entire road. Uh, we're uptown with your ass, and they're actually getting ready to film, guys. Oh, man. They changed out the Salvation Army thrift store and they made it into the facade of the Monty's uh, camera shop. Now, I did actually go through the hall on the alleyway and they actually have another facade. So it looks like they're gonna film the out, uh, outer videos from there and the inner ones or the back wall is gonna be right over uh, at, the, at the alleyway where you can actually definitely see the, another facade on there. And what I actually see is Universal Studios is actually here as well too. Not only with that, you, uh, Warner Brothers is actually here. So there's so much, so much hustle and bustle over here in Uptown Whittier. All right, guys, we gotta definitely be a little bit more quiet. We have the extras back over here. The extras are here. The extras are back over here. We gotta be very, very quiet. Look at they're actually setting up a scene right now. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this movie magic in the making. This is actually pretty cool, guys. There we go, look at that. Set up the mark. Get the grips ready to go. So everyone's ready to go. We have all the grip, all the all the extras there ready to go. Oh man, this is cool. Kind of exciting guys. There we go. This is so much guys. Look at this. And you see an actual film. Oh there we go. You hear the cut mark. Here the mark. She's actually pretty cool, guys. Now, sorry. See right here, guys. Look at this. Look at that. The grips are going. There he goes. 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 Oh, 
car trouble. She is good at it. I mean, I look good to get some sub shots too. So I, mean, I always want to get those, the, the actors to go through, just to make it seem like it's an actual, you know, city that they're actually filming in. It's actually pretty cool. Now they're going to get everyone reset. They're going to start all over again. How we get the right shots. The movie right behind me that they're actually filming at Uptown Whittier is going to be The Fablemans. Now, it's going to be set to release in 2022. Uh, they're all set up and ready to go. This is so awesome. Uh, it's going to be a slew of actors. Now, he did, uh, he did have some child actors as well, too. Uh, it's going to have Michelle Williams, Seth Rogen, Paul Dano, uh, Gabriel LaBelle, uh, Oaks Fiegel, uh, Fiegley, Gabriel Bateman, Nicholas Cantu, Julia Butters, Sam uh, Redner, Judd Hirsch, and so so many others. Now, uh, Gabriel Lobel is set to actually be um, Steven Spielberg's actual uh, uh, portrayal of his character. So, it's this is awesome. This is so great. I love it. And I talked to someone that actually was an extra over uh, in the movie Speed. That was. That was great to actually, you know, talk to them and hang out with them while, uh, you know, while we're actually watching real f movie making, movie magic happening. Oh, I absolutely love it. Now, I've always talked about this. Uptown Whittier has it, that kind of spark and that kind of uh, anti uh, uh, antique look. And that's what Uptown Whittier is all about. And I just love that we get a Steven Spielberg movie filmed here. That is so outstanding i i am so so incredibly grateful that i'm actually here i was able to film it now i doubt this is gonna be part of the film but that looks pretty cool the incredible bulk <laughs> that's a cool van right there See, so when you actually look now, I have to be a little bit more quiet, guys, because I know they're filming right now. But back over there, you can definitely see where it says Monty's Camera Shop. That is another facade. So there's three different facades for Monty's Camera Shop. We have the one back over there with the Salvation Army thrift store. And we also have this one right here. So this one not only has this one, but also has the other one in the very back of there, too. So now we definitely do know in a lot of films they want to film once twice three four five six times they want to make sure they get the right shot they get the right composition they get the right colors they get everything right because if they don't film it right you can't come back here and try it again because i believe there's actually a permit that they have going on so they have to make sure they they have to utilize all the time here as much as they can now i think this is because of the current conditions like the pandemic they do have a health compliance officer here. They, so they probably want to make sure that, you know, they want to keep their mask on and then when they're ready to go, they'll definitely go ahead and go. But they do have a health compliance officer here. So it's probably a good thing, you know, with this, the current conditions that are going on right now. Possibly see this in one of the films. So if you guys do, I mean, hey, refer back to this video <laughs> because I got you guys three different spots to actually see different areas of where, how they're filming here. It's a Hollywood land takeover of this city oh man this is so great every bit of this entire city from end to end to end to end to end to end is full and i mean full of everybody from hollywood this is so awesome no matter where you go whether or not you see trucks whether or not you see star wagons whether or not you see possible stars you definitely see every bit of the of Hollywood executives somewhere lying around here. Some of them are actually sitting down. Some of them are hanging out. Some of them are on their on their walkies, but they are setting up for the, another scene. So we're definitely gonna wait a bit, wait a little bit, just to see if we can actually get a second scene. Man, that was actually pretty cool. Now I was walking through the alleyway, and um, I again, again, one of the guys had asked me, "Hey, if you're gonna be right next to the crew members, make sure you just wear a mask." You know, which is fine. I understand. I put the mask on, went through the old, the old alleyway, and what was great was that as I was walking, right in front of me, Seth Rogen actually passed right by me. I asked him, you know, for a quick picture, but he, you know, he had to get, he had to go, which is fine, no problem. That was 
a really, really cool moment. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, right in front of me was Seth Rogen. Now, I, I didn't recognize him because, you know, he didn't have a beard on. So I was like, oh, but it caught my attention. I was like, wait, it looks like someone I know. It has to be Seth Rogen. So when I, when I, when I said his name, he like turned his head. I'm like, oh man. <sighs> but I couldn't get a fun pic with you guys. Sorry about that. But I did get someone that approached you and be like, hey, are you paparazzi? I'm like, no. <laughs> what? I'm from YouTube. Lunch today, David. That's Rogan. So it was actually pretty nice that I actually got to see that actually be built. That is exactly what, what, that, what that crane was being built for. That is really cool that they actually have that. That is awesome. Look at that, guys. That's so, so cool. So basically, it basically shields them over so they get a better shot of the, uh, of the actors. Man, there is so much hustle and bustle, man. You can definitely see what's going on around here. Uh, I did see Seth uh, Rogen. I do know that Seth Rogen because when he was passing by me, I actually said his name. So definitely know that Seth Rogen. And I was talking to someone else right beside me. It definitely looked that there was Steven Spielberg with the blue hat right there. And they're setting up a scene from, from Arizona uh, because you can definitely tell with the, the license plates. I think it's going to be like an adaptation to, um, to uh, Steven Spielberg's life. It's actually nice that they, that they chose Whittier to actually film some of their scenes in. And I'm so 100% grateful. I loved, you know, just to be there, just to sit there and just watch. Uh, talk to a bunch of people and they were actually pretty cool. I love just being around the whole film environment. That was really cool. And they were uh, definitely, they changed the street of the of green leaf <laughs> as you can definitely see that's actually pretty cool they actually spray painted so it looks uh, rustic so i i that was that was pretty crazy and <laughs> no lie all right guys so that's it for today's awesome adventure over here at uptown whittier to definitely check out the awesome film locations that is happening right now that is right steven spielberg and seth rogan i do know is actually here so it's actually pretty cool to see all the different setups on how they set up different scenes. I actually were, was here for a couple of scenes that they were setting up, so that was amazing. Now, if you guys like this video, give it an awesome thumbs up. If you guys like the content I bring to you guys, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Hit the post notification and share these videos with your family and friends. If you guys would like to find me in any other my social medias, definitely check out my Instagram because I post almost daily, and I really do post daily. Now, we are onward to the next adventure. Let's go.